wanna see how beautiful you are You know that I see it, I know you're a star Good morning everyone, welcome to the show, I'm Diego And I'm Kobe And, and this, this is, is the Wildcat, Wildcat Weekly Weekly Here's to another episode of this week's news for you Jameson students to find out what's going on around campus. So let's get started with the news, shall we? Hey seniors, there's a lot of important events coming up for you this week and especially for next week. It's that time again for the seniors exit interviews. If you don't know, you will be interviewed by a panel of interviewers of local community leaders. In the interview, they will see how mature professional you are to be entering your adult life. With that being said, you better dress to impress. You're right, so tuck in your shirt and don't forget the tie. It's extremely recommended to be to dress your best. How fancy are we talking? Fancy like when, when SpongeBob took Pearl to the to prom? That fancy, bro. You gotta wear a tie, button-up shirt, uh, appropriate shoes. For the ladies, a form of professional appeal that would that you would wear to like an interview is like the best bet. Just no super high heels or going out on a Friday style, you know what I mean? I got this. So I, some of my greatest weakness that I care too much? I don't know about that, but you want to be ready to impress them with yourself. That's where your senior portfolio comes in handy. As many of you seniors know, you've had a recent binder check to make sure you have everything from your resume to your letter, letter of recommendation. To make sure all of you required documents are done and are in by this week. I refer you a little deal. This is looking great, bro. Really? Yeah. My photo looking at <sighs> Next, good news for all Jameson students. This year there will be another trip on April 4th. So guys, get ready. That's right. This trip will be to the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Students will go in style on a charter bus. Be provided lunch, and how I mentioned, it's free. Free, huh? Crocky. We will be providing more information as it gets closer, but this Friday, students will have to find out if they qualify. What's your favorite zoo animal, Diego? Snake. Snake? Snake. Snake. Mine, I think, is a orangutan. Now, oh, I like dogs. Let's, let's go to Giselle, our weather woman, to see what's in store for the weather this week. Thanks, guys, and good morning to you all. I'm Giselle, back with this week's weather. The weather for this week will look like Tuesday, partly cloudy with the high of 69. Wednesday, we're going to have showers with the high of 64. Thursday, we're going to have showers with the high of 61. And Friday, we're going to have showers again with the high of 61. That's what I have for you guys this week. Make sure to bring your raincoats, your sweaters, your umbrellas. And yeah, back to you. Thank you, Giselle, for that information. Now, talking sports, basketball season is now over. The team did their best, but now it's time to put away the basketball and bring out the softball. Softball, huh? Softball trials happened last Monday, and we will find out who made it on the team. We will be following the season with our new reporter in replacement of with Donnie. And talking about requirements, what's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nah. It's a community service doomsday judgment countdown clock. We're still requiring names, so you gotta bear with us, guys. I hate that thing, bro. Don't you? Man, staring at it with all that consequence and stress. Dang, only 55 days of school days left, so get it done. In other news, last Thursday, Thursday should put on another activity at lunch, the Twinkie Eating Contest. Let's go to our reporter to see what happened there. Hi, I'm Natalie reporting here with the Twinkie Eating Contest, and we are sitting here with... David. Patrick. Johnny. Alejandro. Kevin, I'm on the sound chat. Okay, with that, let's get started and see who the winner is, okay? Oh. I'm standing here with the first place and second 
place winner of the contest and the third place. So how did you guys feel it went? Um, it went pretty good. It was easy. I took my time. That's it. How do you think it went? It was good until the end and my stomach started to hurt. <laughs> okay, how do you think it went? I feel like if I would have slowed down, I would have gotten first place. Well, you guys all did a good job and you guys got your prizes. And that was it for this lunch activity. Bye! Thank you for that coverage. Gotta love those lunch activities, right? Lastly, we have some news about our film competition that we have been working on in general productions. Our alcohol and drug prevention video is officially done and sent our video to the Slick Rock Film Festival. We would love to show you guys, so enjoy. Hey guys, guys, coach is clear. It's just okay. Monica. Hey Monica, come here, we got something I for you. Come here. Really stop. You guys are gonna end up getting caught. Hey, be quiet. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, we stuck some beers on the school. You want one? What do you mean, no? You're not on fire? Girl, give her one. Here. Just this one time. Don't be lame. Just one time. <laughs> hey, Monica. What's <laughs> up, Have you ever tried liquor? It's just like beer. Just this one time. Just one time. Monica. Hey, Monica. Well, I don't see why you need them. Put them away. It makes my mom feel good, so it'll make me feel good. Here, Monica, just try them. It's just like liquor. Just this one time. Just one time. Come on, bro. Just this one time, man. I don't ever ask you again. Hey, Monica, you want to try this? Just this one time? Just one time. Just this one time. Just this one time. Just one time. Just one time. Just one time. You don't always have to say yes. Peer pressure can lead to you losing control of your own life decisions. According to studies, 53% of high school teenagers during their high school careers will try alcohol. The leading cause to this is peer pressure. Youths who drink alcohol are more likely to experience absence and failing grades. It's never just this one time. You can have all your future plans together and you risk it for fun. Why throw away all your hard work? If you're someone who has trouble saying no, think about your family and friends. If you know anyone going down this path, be a hero and talk to them about the dangers. Isn't it ironic how things that make us feel alive are things that can kill us? It's not a matter of if, but when. And when that time comes, will you decide for yourself or will you decide for your friends? I hope you decide for yourself. Wow, that was touching, Kobe. We hope you guys liked it. If we pass the first round, General Productions will be invited to a red carpet event at the Visalia Fox Theater where we will find out if we won the alcohol drug prevention category. So wish us luck as we are comp competing, competing with comp tons of other Let's go. Valley's schools. So with that being said, we would love to win, but if we don't, you know what? It's all right. With that being said, I'm Kobe. And I'm Diego. And this was Wildcat Weekly. Weekly. Filming. You guys did a little... You ain't messing with me today? You know what? Get you on your iPhone.